what's up guys, Trix here, back with another episode of Trix Plays for you. This time I'm playing the wonderful game Nidhogg. Uh, I can't remember who this was made by at the moment, but there is a, a game website link in the description where you can learn all that for yourself. Um, it looks like there's something going on in the background. But anyways, this is Nidhogg, the pixel fighting fencing game uh, that is quite fun, actually. Although, what you're going to get this game for, we should get this game for, is the party play, because that is, that's what you really want. Sadly, I've got no one here to play with me, so I'm just going to go single player. And for this, I'm using an Xbox controller. Um... Oh look, I restarted my single player game. Great. Uh oh, wait a second. No, dang it. Just restart my Well, this video's off to a great start anyways. Here we go. Uh X is attack. Um -ah. ah, dang it, he killed me. Hello, sir. I killed you. Ha ha. Oh, dang it, he got me. This game is quite fun, and um if you have someone to play with, like a brother or sister to play with, then it'd be great uh to play with them if they're into that sort of thing, but since I don't have any brothers and my sisters aren't interested in, in video games really, or at least playing them with me, I'm playing this by myself. So, ah, oh, got me at the last second with your lucky spawn. Oh, oh, I decapitated him. Obviously this game is very pixely and, um, well, that that makes it all the more special because this if this was uh like real humans like um oh dang it overgrowth was so, supposed to be if you didn't know that overgrowth was supposed to be real humans but they decided against it because it'd be too graphic oh look wait for it Nidhogg! oh so they replaced it with rabbits and that's why I, um it's amazing but if this was real humans it'd be a lot more graphic and it'd have an M rating probably. Instead of, I think it's like E10 up or something, this one's rating. I don't know, but it is very, very fun, and I do enjoy it quite a bit. Um, although, if it is, it's not worth the full price on Steam. Oh, come on, get up, get up, you fat lard. Dang it. It is not worth the full price on Steam, uh, unless you plan on playing it excessively with, like, a friend. But if you're gonna play the single player, then no, wait until it's on sale, uh, before you get it. But otherwise, I quite recommend this game. Um, oh, oh, stand there. Boom, you dead. Ha <laughs> ha, tricking my opponents like a dog. Alrighty, run, run, because I'm a coward. Dang it, uh, get a sword, run. Okay, ha <laughs> ha, oh, crud. snap, oh, dang, oh, oh, get that sword. Ugh. Ah, ah, oh, that was almost awesome. Uh, you can probably hear my controller. Ooh, go. Dang it, you spawned right there. You see that? I did a roll and attack. Oh, he got me. Alright. Oh, dang it. He got me again. Ooh, this is a good fight. No one's moved a room. Oh, come on. Yes. There we go. Wah. Wah. Oh, oh, crud. Whee. Run. Oh, I'm, I don't have a sword. Wah. Oh, he got me. But now I have a sword. So it's all good. Oh, I'm dead. Alrighty. Come on. Come on. Uh, one of my, on, if you go to my Steam profile, you can see one of my showcases is Rarest Achievements, and one of my Rarest Achievements that's featured on there is Trapped in Donkey Space, which is an achievement for this game, which is play a match lasting longer than 20 minutes. Um, yeah, I got that, and only 0.21% of people have it, so, um, yeah, I've got, a, I've got quite a few rare achievements. I'm surprised, I'm one of my rarest achievements, I think, is the Kubrick Equation for Ace of Spades. Uh, surprisingly, only like ha like 0.1, 0 0.11% of people have it, and it's just destroy the monolith on Moon Base on the map Moon Base in Ace of Spades. Oh, oh, did you see that? That was op epic. Try to say epic. Said epic. I'm a fail, anyways. Yes, I, I speak on the internet. That that's my hobby. And okay, anyways, but yeah, um. Surprisingly, not a lot of people have that achievement. It's one of my rarest achievements. I've also got some Age of Empires rare achievements. But anyways, back to the game. We just stabbed that guy. We are on the final screen for this guy. Boom, you dead. Oh, oh, that was that was total skills right there. Okay, let's go to the Nidhogg. But plot twist, he comes from behind. Ha <laughs> ha. Alrighty, I love the pixely people in the background. Okay, so I got 13 kills, he got 12 kills. Let's have one more fight and we'll end off this video and start it with a bang. There we go. 
Ooh, now I have grass. Oh, a silent assassin. Why is there no achievement for that? Oh gosh, that scared me. Hello, jump up here. Ha ha. Wee. I know it's cheap. Okay, come on. I could get an achievement right now if I don't mess this up, which I just did. Oh, oh, come on, go. Yo. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. No! I was so close to getting an achievement right there. There's an achievement for when the when the winning the initial um the initial face off and then keeping the arrow the entire time and I almost Oh wow, nice triple backflip. Good job, Nidhog. Uh almost got that achievement right there. Look, only forty seconds. That's one kill every ten seconds for me. But anyways guys, uh wait a second, I suppose we could do one more round. Ooh, castle, I like this map. It's a really fun map. It's uh, got a lot to it. Um I, I like that there's an achievement called Prometheus where it's to run across the final screen in castle with your sword cocked the entire time. I thought that- oh, dang it! I thought that was quite funny and quite awesome. Ooh, right through the skull. Good show, sir. Come on, pull my dead body off your sword. I, w I wish to respawn. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh, did you see that? I oh, dang it! I dive kicked him down a hole. Ooh, ooh, nice catch. Here, catch. Oh, good. There we go. Ha ha. I has a sword. Alrighty, final screen. Here, catch. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, we're. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh my. Okay, okay. Catch. Nope. Yes. Remember that, uh, if. I think that a bunch of people have seen my overgrowth video might have been like a hundred or something but um there's this one scene where i spawned a bunch of wolves and i was i uh, had a sword and i was like here catch and i threw it at him he turned around in like half a second and caught it started chasing me and eventually slaughtered me with my sword and that's why overgrowth is one of my favorite games but anyways guys that was nidhogg also a very good game i also recommend overgrowth but if you want wish to see that video if i remember i'll put a link in the description but anyways guys that was nidhogg the fantastic pixel fencing game if you like this video then be sure to like the video and if you would like to download and buy this game for yourself there will be a steam link and a game link in the description remember to subs subscribe to my channel for more awesome terraria minecraft and other games content and i'll see you all next time Goodbye.